Hi everybody, here a short tutorial on how to bisect the line perpendicularly. So in fact, how to create a new line which divides and bisects this line in two and has a 90 degrees angle with this line. So you can also say it's orthogonal or uh, perpendicular or whatever. The most important point is that the, the angle between the original spine and this spine is 90 degrees. So the line between this and the new line, this angle is 90 degrees. So it's not just a Python tutorial, it's also something um, on how to do with vectors within Cinema 4D. Okay, so here, this is the... Okay, first of all, um, when you go to the internet and you start searching for orthogonality or uh, perpendicular, you find a lot of information. So again, the line, the new line on this line with an angle of 90 degrees is what we're going to do. So this is uh, the Python code. As you can see, it's not too, that much. And as always, I'll open the console because I print a lot of debug information to the console. First, we're going to find and get the information of the original spine. And also, we get um, the global matrix of this original spine. Then we get the two points of the spine. So this point, no, sorry, I'll take this one. This point, that is P1 and this is P2. You can see it's 000 and 200. I'll print it out just to show you and have some debug information. Okay, uh, the point in the middle is easy. The bisexual point is very easy. It's just adding those two factors of two points and divide them by two. The direction of the, uh, the new factor is also very simple. And I'll explain it uh, the easiest way. You could do it in other ways, but for me this, this was very easy. And go to the internet to find uh, uh, the mathematics behind it. So to get a factor with a 90 degrees uh, angle on another factor, for example, this is the original factor, 3, 0, 1. The factor with a 90 degrees angle on this one is minus 1, 0, 3. So what you do, you swap these coordinates and you put a minus in front of it. And as you can see, the plane is here again very important. Because I'm using the XZ plane the y coordinates is zero and you don't have to use those. Because getting an, um, a bisect line perpendicular on a line with three dimensionals is, is more complicated. More complicated. That's another tutorial. So again, we work in the xz plane. And the factor direction of minus one zero three is the one with a 90 angles degree on top of it. So that's what we do, we get the original uh, one, the original uh, factor. Indeed, I'll, I'll show you again. Um, this is the direction of the original one, and this is the direction of the one with the 90 angles, 90 degrees angle on top of it. Okay, 
So that's why I reversed the Z and the X coordinates and put a minus in front of it. And that's all I do. I add, of course, this point to it. Then we get this point. And then we set, of course, uh, the points of that new spline. First spline is the middle point, the intersection, the bisection. And the new direction is this point. And we update the message of update the spline in the viewport. Just to show you that uh, the mathematics is okay, uh, as you can see on the internet, um, the angle is always 90 degrees when the dot product is zero. In Python you calculate the dot product this way, you take one factor and the dot product of another factor, and that should be zero. And again, as you can see here, the dot product is zero. So let me show you for other values. You see the dot value is always zero because the angle is always 90 degrees. Okay, so that was simple. However, if I move the original spline, for example, to this position, in fact, out of the zero, zero position, so give it another global values. And I'll do the same again. I'll change some points of the original factor. And then you can see something goes wrong. And that's because of the intersection is calculated wrongly. The angle is still okay, but the starting point of the new factor is wrong. It should be, of course, here in the middle and not here. And that's because we use local coordinates and not the global coordinates. That's why we uh, copy the, the matrix of the original spline to the new spline. And it's also done very easy. We get the original spline matrix and we put it into the new spline matrix. And as you can see, now everything is okay. When changing those coordinates, we always get a line, a new factor with a 90, angle, 90 degrees angle on the original spine. Okay, so this tells you something about uh, how to use uh, factors within Cinema 4D and Python. Calculate the dot matrix, uh, say something about uh, global and local variable um, points. And of course, you can uh, start using this with uh, intersection, other lines, and things like that. Okay, again, when you have questions, please let me know. Thank you.